Today, I'm gonna to share with you my first look at the AP 16202 BA 50th anniversary in yellow gold. So it's gonna take quite some time for these 50th anniversaries, especially the real special ones, to roll out and get into people's hands and for me to possibly be able to do reviews on. You know, these are watches that they're not gonna do a lot of them. But immediately, the ones that caught my attention were the stainless steel green dial chronos, of course, the open works and the tourbillons, but most importantly, this one, the yellow gold BA. You know, the thing about this model is, is that I am a very big fan of the previous version, the 15202 BA, which came with this same exact setup, which pretty much it's 99% exactly the same watch on the exterior, but the boutique edition brought a yellow dial. Now, that is one of the few watches that I've ever seen in yellow gold that I prefer in a yellow dial than a blue. Yes, the blue dial was stunning, but I preferred the boutique edition with the yellow dial. So when I saw this initially, I said, oh wow, they're really starting to roll out these smoked dials lately. I feel that AP is coming out with so many different variations of these smoked dials, and they tend to look really nice. So when they came out with the 50th anniversary smoked dial, I said, I can't wait to get my hands on one of those to do a review. So here I have it. I've been wearing it on my wrist for about a week. And first thing I wanna say is, do I love it? Yes. It's crazy how much I like the ultra thin. Almost, I think way more than the 41 millimeter. I do not like the standard Royal Oak 39 millimeter. I feel like the proportions are off and it kinda gives me that feeling that it's just a shrunken down 41. I don't know, just kinda the way it looks to me. However, the 39 millimeter ultra thin with this thin look and profile and no second hand for me just gives it that original gentle look with that pointy crown that pops out as opposed to the more thinner, more compact crown of the 41 millimeter. This is the look that I enjoy the most and I feel it's that pure raw look of the Royal Oak. However, as I've been wearing it, I'm not quite sure if I like this better than the original 15202 BA with the boutique yellow dial. I don't know, I'm kind of still on the fence. Don't get me wrong, this is obviously a heavy hitter and it being the 50th anniversary and all that, we all know what that does. But I'm still on the fence. I haven't been completely convinced just yet. So the obvious differences with this model is clearly the dial. The smoke dial is really what makes it that much different. But the real difference is when we go to the back and look at the new 7121 caliber movement that took five years for AP to develop for this new watch. And that's a big jump considering that they ran the previous caliber 2121 for so long that we were finally waiting for a whole new movement. And let me tell you, it does not disappoint. Initially, when I first saw the movement, I was kind of like, what the heck? It just has total different bridges and different things that before I have not really seen on previous Royal Oaks, although have become very familiar on the Cody 1159. It's crazy to think at times, right, that all these new movements that are coming out are being an offspring of the 1159. I mean, in a way, right? Like, it's almost like the 1159 has given the offspring of all these new movements for the Royal Oaks, where I kind of think it should have been the other way around. One of the most significant improvements in this new caliber movement from AP is that the Ultra Thin finally comes with a quick set date. I mean, thank God. That was the one thing about that watch that always felt dated. When you go to set the 15202, I don't know, it just, kind of just felt kind of old. I don't know, that's the only thing I didn't like, but now it finally has it. Of course, every single 15202 BA that will be coming out for this entire year will have the 50th anniversary rotor, which obviously is a very nice touch. But going back to what I originally said, the big question is, do I like it more than the original champagne yellow dial? I mean, look guys, I like this dial. 
I think it's totally different. The whole week that I've been wearing it, I feel like everybody has completely shit their pants when they see it. They just can't even believe that I have it on and everybody says, wow, I really love that dial. So it's gonna be one of those things where it's gonna be a 50-50 play. I would say some people are gonna flock to the original version, some people are gonna flock to the new hyper version. I like that, hyper version, because yes, this is probably gonna be one of the hypest releases of the new 50th anniversary lineup. You've already seen a couple celebrities come up with it, like LeBron James was seen wearing it courtside, you know, and who knows who else is gonna get it. The question also is gonna be the price. With a retail of $70,000, we can only wish upon a star that any of us could buy this watch at that price because, let's face it, not a lot of us are gonna do that. It was about five years ago when a buddy of mine walked into a boutique in Monaco and randomly was offered the 15202 BA. He called me and I said, buy it. At that time, prices weren't where they're going today. I think AP did a fantastic job releasing this watch and making it stand out so much more from the previous one, as opposed to just putting a rotor in the back and a small little change in the dial. This is something that you could see from across the room that it's the new 50th anniversary 16202. So comment below what you think about the new 16202 with the smoke dial. And if you like this video, like and share it with somebody else. Also, subscribe to my new YouTube channel.